Well, plant breeding is nothing new. It was 10,000 years ago when man first began domesticating wild plants and animals. Yet with the advent of biotechnology, changes that took generations can now be done in a matter of years. And that is changing everything from what we eat to how we live. With some background, here's Brian Bendeley. Biotechnology is everywhere from grocery store shelves to medical research. And nowhere has the impact been felt greater than in the farmer's fields. Linda Thrain with the Council for Biotechnology Information. It just lets the farmer grow his crop uh, and control weeds and not have to plow the ground so much, meaning there's less soil erosion. It lets them control pests and disease, in some cases with fewer chemicals. It makes the farm more productive, meaning there's more food for a hungry world out there. Inside this lab, scientists are unlocking the secrets to a more productive wheat plant. It's the first time we have the capacity to study all the genes working together and talking to each other to produce what we see. So we can see what are the different gene variants that you have in the different cultivars in the different regions. Wheat breeder Jorge Dubkovsky says wheat is five times more complex than the human genome. And understanding how it works is a daunting task. Everybody likes to see a wheat that is completely free of striped rust. A fungus called striped rust ruined $400 million of wheat in 2003. In response to this, scientists like Oklahoma State University's Brett Carver are using marker-assisted selection to make new wheat types that are resistant to stripe rust. If we know where those markers are, we can then know where those important genes are. And by selecting for those markers in our breeding program, we improve tremendously the precision and the confidence in which we have in breeding. And this example is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to biotechnology and how it can affect the food we eat and the crops we grow. An economic answer for farmers and a way of survival for many around the world.